I gotta give Notion a lot of credit, all right? I'm not one to do it, but I like buttons. I've been complaining about, hey, where are the buttons at for a while? And while they're not the kind of buttons you might think, they're also like not not the buttons you might think. Let me explain. So if we do slash button, you'll notice here that you have the ability to do a few things. You can either insert blocks, which means that you're going to basically take different text or blocks on and insert them on the page. You're going to be able to add a page to a database, which essentially is like what you could do with template buttons and drag them over, but instead just add them right in. Or you're gonna be able to edit the properties of specific pages in a database. So this is almost a bulk action option. You also are going to be able to open a specified page. So if you wanna make new layouts and have specific pages be open, like for example, in a synced navigation header, bar instead of using emojis or mentions or even call out blocks now you can just use these smaller buttons so this is another option as well and then we see right here there's also this show confirmation window before proceeding and what this does is it makes you confirm that you actually want to press the button and have the button do what you asked of it you can change it to continue you can change this text continue to something else and you can change cancel to something else so just basically adjusting the confirmation so let's do an example button. So right here, you also can change the emoji and have it be an icon too if you want. So say I wanted to do some sort of basic habit tracker, I could do that. So let's start with this. Let's do a little check mark new habits. Now if I were to make a slash database and call it habits, let's give some example habits. So first would be drink a gallon of water, then could be go for a walk, do 100 push-ups, cause I'm yoked. And then we'd go here, we could add some emojis, like water, and then just someone walking, and then a little flex for push-ups. All right, so now with just a basic habit tracker, after I leave it to these, what I can do is in this edit button, I could delete this out from the show confirmation standpoint, and just to mention this to be clear, these are all different things you can add in steps. So the insert blocks, the add page to, the edit pages, and these are all steps that can be added in a sequence, which is cool. So it's like the template button on steroids from before. Now, say you integrate these buttons into the databases and you have formulas, I'm just saying, you'll basically be like Coda. So I want to do that. First things first, let's do add page to. This is a great example. So select a database. And after a moment, something will populate here. I could type habits and then wait. I will say as of recent, Notion has been a little slow. And if you have a lot of different databases that have similar names, what you can do is I'm gonna click off and change the end of this to XX. And then I'm gonna copy this and then you'll see since I interacted with it, changed the name, and also if I pasted it in there, you're gonna have that opportunity. So, add page to, and you have the ability right here to drag this around when you have multiple steps. And you can also edit the properties, which is really great. So I'm gonna do drink a gallon of water. And you see right here on the top right, you can add a step below or above, duplicate or delete. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate this since I just wanna keep it in the same database. And then I'm gonna change this to go for a walk. And then I'm gonna duplicate this again, or just as an example, I'm just gonna duplicate this again and change this to do 100 push-ups. all right? And then you can move these around by doing that or dragging them like this. And then I'm gonna add another step to the end of this, which is show confirmation. And this is just gonna say, are you sure you want to create habits for the day? And then I'm gonna change this to yes and no. Then once I press done here, let's pretend with checkbox, it's filtered to unchecked here. And then since it's unchecked, we are going to, if I delete this extra text out, check these off. And then say I wanted to create new items, I can press new habits. Are you sure you wanna create habits for the day? I really like this, it's got the emoji, it has a little yes or no here. I really I really do think this is a, is a cool layout. Press yes and then boom, they're created. Now, what I could then do is make another button. So let's do a slash column two, and let's break this out into two halves here. So we have this col this button and this new button I'm gonna make. So I'm gonna actually move this one to the right, 
and have this one on the left. So let's do slash button again, just to show you this. Edit pages in, and then once again, select the database. So the delayed database is gonna be what we just worked in. And then we're gonna edit a property. So edit checkbox, checkbox, up, checkbox options, check. And then it's gonna ask pages to edit. So we can do name contains or whatever, but I'm gonna do checkbox is unchecked. And then we're gonna call this check off habits. And then I'm gonna do a little check mark and have it be the square one and in blue, which would signify that it's done. And then I'm gonna be right here and do show confirmation. Are you sure you want to check off all your habits? And then I'm gonna change this to yes and this to no. And once we do it done here, uh, once again, just like before, now I can go check off habits. Are you sure you wanna do it? Yup, nice. Now, what if I press undo really quick? I do this, you'll see that it already does it. Now this by pressing no will just like cancel it. But what I actually did wrong here, and this is something that probably many of you realized, is I need to do this first, right? I need to have the confirmation first. So in both of these, I'm gonna go to edit button and then move this guy up by either pressing move up or dragging this to the top. So now before I make new habits, I have to press yes and then it will do it. And then in this case too, if I press check, then I press yes, it will then check them all off. So this is another way that you can interact with things. Just like before I mentioned that you could have a synced header, what if we did a slash column five, or sorry, three with these or four, and we just do slash button. Now, in this circumstance, what probably would make sense is you edit them like this. So we do slash column four again, we make a couple buttons, and then let's do slash button, and I wanna do open page. So select open page, maybe the home page, and then I can just steal the name and whatever, like the orbit, and then we can do like TTP hub, and then we can open the page and either center peak, full page, or side peak, which I think is pretty cool that it's giving you these options. And then I'm just gonna duplicate this and pick some other pages. So I'm gonna do like my actions page, do like my main task management page, actions, do a little check mark. And then let's maybe say, once again, I wanna do my content calendar page, do a little video, and then open the content calendar page. And then we can do one more, which could be, in this case, let's just edit this and do uh, planning, which is gonna be the planning page. So now what we can do is we can slot this in to this sort of view. And unlike callout blocks, which take up a little bit more space, what we can do is we can have a nice little navigation bar with these dots. Now, how would I make sure that these are all uh, gonna be like moved throughout? What I can do is type slash synced block and then do a slash call for and then drag these in to each column. And what then I could do is copy and sync. And when I go here, I'm just gonna go to that page and then let's just at the top, paste. Okay, let's go here. I'm going to press enter and then paste again. And I can go through this whole process of like any sort of sync navigation bar now has a much shorter and much smaller and conciser option. And then I can go to the content calendar page and do that exact same thing, right? So all I did there was copy and sync, go to each page, press enter, and then control V it. So we got a pretty cool synced header situation. I know that I use the Notion app system, but this is a great option for those of us that are not interested in it uh, because they're just so much more convenient. I mean, I have a pretty similar system set up in this GTD dashboard with these mention pages, and I have a very similar system set up in my Notion second frame template, as you can see with the callout blocks. But if I ended up being able to use buttons, this would be a little bit more concise because you see right here, I mean, this takes up a lot of extra space and I'm only able to click on the text here rather than this, there's no hyperlinking. So this new button capability is awesome. You can edit properties, you can do, you can create new ones, you can use it as like a sync navigation. All of this kind of stuff is really great with the new buttons update. If you're interested in more content like this, make sure to subscribe and check out this video on how to improve your productivity even more.